Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the CIF. I'm your host, Richard Tiemann, and this is your Game of the Week preview for week number five of the 2021 CIF season. As I'm sure you've guessed by now, we have a battle of unbeatens this Saturday when the 3-0 Sioux City Bandits, who are fresh off a road win against a rival opponent in the Omaha Beef, travel to Salina to take on the 4-0 Liberty, who are fresh off their first road victory of the season over the Wyoming Mustangs. Somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose, and this has all the makings of an instant classic for the 2021 season. Today, I welcome two former players of the week from the Sioux City Bandits, defensive lineman Ben Peaster, and from the Salina Liberty, their quarterback, Tyree Adams. So let's see what these two had to say about this big matchup coming up Saturday at 6.30 from Salina. All right, CIF fans, we're getting ready for a slobber knocker of a matchup this weekend between two unbeatens. First up, representing the away team, he's a man with the best mustache in the league, if you ask me personally. He's also a week three defensive player of the week, hailing from Missouri Western University. It is Ben Peaster from the Sioux City Bandits. Welcome, Ben. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, man. I mean that with the mustache. Not many can pull off the handlebar, but I, I got to say, you've got it pretty well down. Is that uh, by choice? No, it uh, it, it kind of started as a joke at work, and then I uh, kind of fell in love with it. <laughs> so, Well, I'm sure the quarterbacks recognize it right away. You've had a great season so far. Props to you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, like I said, big matchup this weekend. Salina 4-0 and hosting you guys 3-0. and And, uh, you know, you guys coming off of a road win against a rival opponent, the Omaha Beef. I was there. I saw how crazy that game was, a tale of two halves, but you guys didn't quit. Um, you really came out strong in that second half. What's been, in your mind, the best thing about your team so far this 2021 season? I think probably just we're we're a pretty selfless group. We're very team oriented. Uh, got a very family atmosphere uh, up there in Sioux City. Kind of been how how it is since they've been around. And one of the biggest things that's helped me enjoy being there. It, it's a great atmosphere up there. Those coaches and everybody know how to put a team together, and they they know how to get everybody to buy in pretty quick. So. Now, you guys are 3-0 and despite the fact that your first game of the season, you lost your starting quarterback with about five seconds left. I was at that game. I saw that happen, and it broke my heart for you. And, and I don't even work for you guys. But, um, you know, you being on the defense, obviously that's not your side of the ball. But how did you guys really take that and then kind of adjust? And how are you able to come out, you know, with three wins going into a really tough opponent? Yeah, that's tough. I felt bad for Scott. Uh, I had played against him for a couple of years when I first got into the league. I was looking forward to being on the same team with him when he came out of retirement there for a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's that's a big loss right there. But, uh, again, credit to the coaches on getting us back on track and just kind of that cliche next man up type of deal. But uh, they've got quite the uh, process in, Saint, in Sioux City, so uh, – now, defensively, did you guys feel like it was more on your shoulders to really step up while they made the adjustment at quarterback and got the new QB under center and adjusted to the game plan with Coach Strobing? Uh, I mean, as a defense, we always kind of take pride in in making sure that we, as any defense is, hold everybody to as little as possible so that the offense doesn't have to do as much. But, uh, yeah, I'd say there's definitely an extra boost in terms of, all right, we'll it's our turn to shine and, and kind of take over here. So uh, we got a bunch of studs on the defensive side and offense as well, but um, it's a, it's a good group to be a part of. And again, as many big stars and studs that we have on that side, everybody's very selfless and very in for the bigger picture. So it makes it easy to play and, keep going i'm sure it probably helps having a big guy like claude davis there suiting up with you because he is a big scary man coming after opposing quarterbacks so it must make your job a little easier and probably a lot more enjoyable oh man he's a monster him bridges and and uh randall blash you know randall greer uh 
it's a just a bunch of studs. It's a star-studded D line and defensive group in general. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to keep up with everybody. Honestly, it's it's amazing being being able to watch them do their work and, and learn from them and and kind of hear and see what they're seeing throughout the game. It, it's awesome. It's been a blast so far, and I look forward to the rest of the rest of the journey this season. Now, of course, it is a season where there's only 10 games, so uh, literally every game matters in this one, and you guys were able to start off 3-0 and so far, get a early win against a rival in Omaha in their house, the only time that you'll play in the slaughterhouse all season. Now, you've been in this game for eight years now, and I understand that you used to actually play for Salina. Does a matchup like this mean anything more to you than just the next game? I don't know, kind of cliche again, every game is very important, especially the, you know, the short season and and as few teams as there are in this league, everybody sees each other multiple times. So, I mean, that that becomes personal throughout the season as well. I mean, if you get to a point where you got somebody whooping you two or three times in a year, that that's kind of devastating. But uh, as for me and Salina, I wouldn't say it's any more animosity than any other game. It's 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 a very important game there. They're stacked on both sides of the ball, and and it's going to be a knockdown, drag out deal like it usually is between these two teams. So it's always tough going into Salina. They got a great fan base over there, and uh, it's always a fun game to be a part of. It's a battle usually each and every time. So I look forward to it each time. Yeah, I'm certainly looking forward to it. And I think the matchup that I'm looking forward to the most is going to be Salina's offense against you guys, the Sioux City defense. And it's been a great defense all season. I saw it firsthand last week. Uh, and, of course, this is after you guys have gotten a couple more games under your belt. I saw the uh, season opener. You guys took on a non-league opponent, so I don't know how much you can really take away from, from that film or that experience. But, man, last week you guys just looked vicious out there, especially on the run game and opposing QB. So I think that's the matchup everybody wants to see, but the matchup that will probably determine who wins and who loses is going to be your guys' offense against the Salina defense. How do you feel about that matchup? I feel great about it. Again, our coaches are are second to none, and and they've got a formula in place up there. So uh, no doubt in my mind, I, I look forward to it. Uh, I've got no doubt that they'll have every – Everybody squared away and ready to rock and roll. Well, speaking of stepping up to the challenge, how, what do you think you guys need to do to come out with a W in Salina this weekend? Stay even keeled. You know, don't get too high. Don't get too low. Um, you know, it's very easy to do in these big games uh, like this. You know, come in overexcited or if something bad happens to completely lose your train of thought and get out of the game plan type of deal. But I think uh, if we can kind of stay even keeled and, stay together, keep all that uh, fairly consistent throughout the game, I think we're going to do just fine. Fair enough. I think it's going to be, like I said, great matchup, knockdown, drag out, fight, slobber knocker, however you want to book it and bill it. I mean, it's a battle of two unbeaten teams early on in the season. Couldn't have asked for much more than that. I got to ask, though, is it uh, is the mustache staying around as long as you guys are winning? Like, if you lose at any point this season, does the mustache have to come off, or what's that deal look like? No, the the mullet mustache combo is uh is here to stay for a while. I hope. Well, you're rocking it well, and as long as you keep playing the way that you have this season, I don't see anybody telling you otherwise. So, uh, hey, best of luck this weekend. I really appreciate your time. Awesome, I appreciate. It. Thanks for having me. Yep, he is Ben Peaster of the Sioux City Bandits taking on the Salina Liberty this Saturday. Thanks a lot, Ben. You take care representing the home team he is hailing from western carolina university it's his first year in the cif and boy is he off to a great start already got one player of the week honors under his belt and i'm sure many more in his future he is the quarterback for the liberty tyree adams welcome tyree how are you thank you richard i'm doing good man i can't complain everything's going good i uh, just appreciate you for having me Hey, man, I love these kind of matchups. You guys, 4-0, and the Bandits, 3-0, and and you guys have been tested pretty much at every kind of level of this level that is indoor football. You guys took on, you know, a non-league opponent. Then you had an uh, in-league opponent uh, and rival in Wichita. 
then you guys have the beef come to town and visit you, a tough opponent. And then you go on the road to take on an expansion team. Not a whole lot's known about them. And all the while, you guys are putting up points. You're getting stops where you need to. And you are having one hell of a season. So how are you feeling overall? Uh, honestly, I'm feeling good. But, you know, I'm only feeling so good because I know it's a lot of stuff that we leave on the field. You know, I know, I know it's a lot of stuff that we have to fix, we have to correct. And um, that's going to be one of the main things that we focus on this week as we look at this matchup. You know, we got the film study done and all of that stuff. And, uh, you know, guys watch film on their own now and, stuff and everything. But we're going going in this game more so focusing on ourselves, not so much the bandits, because as long as we do what we do and, you know, follow the game plan, we should we should come out victorious. Yeah, it'll be a true test. I mentioned earlier that uh, I think the real matchup that everybody's going to be watching will be your guys' offense against Sioux City's defense. They have a nasty front there. Uh, Claude Davis, who's had a great season so far as well. And, uh, you know, they've boasted a defensive player of the week also. So I think for you guys, that matchup is really going to test you offensively. But the matchup that will probably determine the game is going to be your guys' defense against their offense. How do you feel about your guys' defense at this point in the season? Uh, I feel really good about our defense. I will say um, just listening to those guys in film, you know, after offensive film study, sometimes I sit inside the uh, defensive room just to see what type of game plan, what type of scheme they're going to be doing. And um, if I see anything while I'm uh, re-watching the game or something like that, I watch both sides, uh, really all three sides of the ball game uh, as far as special teams, offense, and defense goes. And, um, you know, if I see anything, I'll let those guys know, you know, if it's some tendencies I see up front uh, on their offensive line or tendencies I see as far as, you know, when they're running a certain play from, you know, going left to right, I just try to give those small type of tips just because it's something additional on what, type of game plan they already have your guys as head coach probably one of the best in the league very well respected um really just not only in the cif but indoor football altogether um haran o'neill is an outstanding coach how has he made your first year i guess better for you as a quarterback of all things i think it starts by you know the guys that are surrounded with me or surrounded around me you know um i got tracy carson fast ed uh, I got the new guy, Shelly, and then, you know, everybody know Bird, you know, the, on the offense. And then my offensive line, you know, they're getting better each week. I will say um, sometimes you have a flash from one another that just stands out. And then, like you said, you have Coach O. He comes and put all the pieces together. Your opponent, they're coming off of probably uh, one of the biggest wins all season. And I know it's early, but you got to think about what was at stake. They were on the road against Omaha, a heated rival. They faced early adversity in that game and then really just didn't look back once the second half started. So they know how to come back from behind. You guys have only ever played what, with a lead, really. So what is it like being a quarterback facing a team that's probably going to be extremely fired up coming into your house? Um, it's exciting for me, honestly, and I think it's exciting for the rest of my team as well. I mean, just being a competitor, just loving the game of football, that's what you want. But again, we're just expecting to play our game. We bring a classy, uh, we bring a classy game. Of course, it's going to be trash talk on the field, but at the end of the day, we make sure we do it with respect. We make sure, you know, We're not trying to get any stupid penalties or anything like that. We're just trying to keep it all in the game. Somebody's got to go home a winner, and somebody's going to go home a loser in this one, but uh, should certainly help clear a few things up because you can't stay undefeated forever, or or maybe you can. You guys will see if you can do that for sure, and the biggest test will be now this weekend against Sioux City. So I got to ask, as your first year, what's been your favorite thing about indoor football? The fans. I mean, I always think it's the fans, no matter what level of football I'm at, though, and that's that's because uh, I was a psychology minor in college. So everything is about talking to people. Everything is about how people think and why they do, why they do certain things. And going back to the first game we played against Arlington uh, when I dislocated my shoulder and um, I didn't play the whole second half, but me coming out the tunnel at the beginning of the game was me doing a couple of backflips and stuff like that. And that was the first time I took a picture with, you know, a fan. It was a little girl. Her name's Addison. And they come to, you know, pretty much every home game. And uh, my first game ball went to her. You know, she took a picture of it. I got everybody to sign the ball. And so, yeah, it definitely has to be the fans for me. Couldn't have said it better myself. And, yeah, they, they do add a little extra something at this level. It's uh, contagious, really, and you just can't get enough of it, especially if you have a very good, passionate fan base like you guys do down there in Salina. Well, I can't thank you enough for your time. I want to wish you the best of luck this weekend in your big matchup against Sioux City. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, Richard. I really appreciate it. He is the quarterback for the Salina Liberty, leading them into a heated matchup against an also undefeated Sioux City Bandits. And, oh, he's also the Week 2 Offensive Player of the Week. So, hey, been a pleasure having you. And, again, good luck. We'll see you again real soon, I'm sure. And one more huge thank you to Ben Peaster and Tyree Adams for joining me on this Game of the Week preview. Don't forget, you can watch the game live on YouTube on the CIF Network YouTube channel. Kickoff is at 6.30 p.m. from the Tony's Pizza Event Center in Salina, Kansas. Who will be next week's Game of the Week matchup? You'll just have to tune in and find out. Until then, I'm Richard Tiemann, and this is Inside the CIF.